So you probably clicked on this video thinking, man's capping, you know, surely this can't be right. Trust me, when I heard about it, I had the same reaction. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a madness. I'm gonna explain it all in this video. So my name is Junaid, I'm a fourth year medical student studying here at Newcastle University. And that is pretty relevant for this video. Let's not waste time, let's get straight into it. So Newcastle Medical School, the tune, Geordie Land home to the worst team in the Prem, and also home to an amazing opportunity. As I said, I'm in my fourth year studying here at Newcastle, and so far it's been hella lit, as long as we don't count 2020 for obvious reasons. But, let me take y'all back, man. I remember being a young 18 year old Junaid, not knowing too much about the world and deciding on my university options. And at the time, people around me at college were thinking of applying to all these big Don universities like Cambridge, Oxford, UCL. But me, I just wanted to get into any med school. I could not care less for the rankings and all of that. All I knew was I wanted to be a doctor and I knew that if I could secure my place into any med school, I would be able to do that. But my GCSE grades were not so great and this meant that I was obviously limited to which medical schools I could apply to but what I lacked in my GCSE results I made up for at least tenfold in my determination to secure that place at med school. I realized that I had to find some unfair advantages that would allow me to stack the deck in my favor because I was already at a disadvantage going into this application process. I knew I needed that one thing that would give me a slight edge over the other candidates. And this, ladies and gentlemen, was it. The partner scheme at Newcastle University. I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard the name, I thought it was kind of weird, but first time I heard about it was at a medical conference when I met this dude called Tayyip. And funny story, he's actually in the year above me now at Newcastle and we both got in through the scheme, which I just find absolutely crazy. But yeah, absolutely sweet guy. You know, he's the only brown dude at this other conference. So naturally, I went over to him and we just started talking and he then started telling me about this partner's scheme. And this was the first time I ever heard of such a thing, but he basically sold me on the very spot. He explained how it was a widening participation scheme at Newcastle University and how if you got accepted, you could get into medical school at Newcastle with grades B, B, B at A level. I know that sounds way too good to be true, but there's more. You also get lower UCAT thresholds when it comes to selecting candidates for interview. Just, just, just drop the mic. Absolute crazy. And by the way, this also applies not just for medicine, but also for dentistry and pretty much any other course at Newcastle. So make sure you send this video to your friends so that they can also benefit from this amazing opportunity. Now, wait, 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 wait. I know you're probably thinking, am I even eligible for this thing? You know, it sounds so good, but will I even be able to get in? Now there's 14 different criteria when it comes to applying to this thing and you literally only need one of those 14. So as long as you have one out of 14, you are onto this scheme. It really is that simple. And also, if you are from a BAME background like myself, then you automatically apply, which is absolutely crazy. And that's because it is one of the criteria. So make sure you share this opportunity with your friends. Now, I will say that there are a few caveats. And the first one of those is if you do well in your interview, you then have to attend a academic summer school and this often takes place in the summer after your A levels. So it'll be the summer just before you head to university. I've done this and it's actually sick. It's so, so cool because you get to spend an entire week as a medical student. So you'll attend the lectures, you'll do projects, you'll meet people in your course, you'll get a feel for the city and all of these things, you know, give you a bit of a head start before you start the course itself. I actually met a lot of my current friends at this summer school and because you're all there together, you know, on this week at the university, you get to scope out the ends and the best spots to eat and all of that stuff. So it's 
actually a really, really cool experience. There was one little thing to worry about when I applied, but for you guys, this won't even apply anymore. But basically, there's an exam that you do have to sit at the end of the summer school. And back when I was doing it, if you did that exam and you didn't do too well, then your offer would be void. But now, like, there's no such thing. It's literally a formative exam. So if you do amazing, it doesn't matter, you're already in. If you fail it completely, doesn't matter you're already in now the other caveat and this one is actually a proper caveat and that is that if you do want the bbb offer at a level then you have to select newcastle as your firm choice even if you've got your eyes set on another university and you're thinking burn in newcastle i think it's still good because you'll get that lower interview threshold and you never know, you might not get an interview for the other universities. So it's always worth a shot applying if you fit the criteria. If you have your eyes set on another university and you're fairly confident that you'll get, you know, at least an AAA and that you won't need the BBB offer, then by all means, go to that university. But just remember guys, BBB is an amazing conditional offer and it'll just mean that you have a bit more breathing space when it comes to results day. And that can honestly, takes so much stress and tension off your mind. So now that you've heard all about it, you're probably rubbing your hands thinking, how the hell do I apply? Guys, it's so, so simple. I'll have a link down below in the description to the website, but essentially all you have to do is first make sure that you're actually eligible. And once you've done that, when it comes to applying through UCAS, just put the letter P in the additional comments section of your application that is it and the newcastle partners team will handle everything else just make sure you check the website beforehand and make sure you've done all of the steps that it requires you know it's very easy to follow so there's not really much for me to add here but i hope you guys enjoyed listening about this opportunity you know i applied through the scheme and it was honestly one of the best things that i did so i hope it helped some of you future doctors and you know, other professionals out there. As I said earlier, make sure you share it with your friends so that you guys can potentially go to university together. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out this one up here. I feel like you'll enjoy that as well. And yeah, I feel like I'm waffling now. So drop a cheeky like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Soundcheck, soundcheck. Okay, we are good.